Okay, in this video, I am going to cover the concept of direct proportions. Okay. Now, many a times in our life, we come across situations where there could be two things which are involved. Let's say one thing which is involved is pocket money and pen. Now, what happens is, suppose I have 100 bucks as my pocket money and I want to use this entire money to buy pens. Okay, let's say the cost of one pen is equal to 10 bucks. Now, when my pocket money is 100, I can buy how many pens? 100 divided by 10, which is 10. Let's say my pocket money increases and it increases to 150. Again, if the cost of the pen is rupees 10, I can buy 150 upon 10 is equal to 15 pence. Okay, let's assume the situation got even better. I have 200 rupees. So how many pence can I buy? 200 divided by 10 is equal to 20. Now what we notice here is that as my pocket money increases, let's say from 100 to 150, the number of pence that I can buy also increase. Similarly, once this increased further from 150 to 200, the number of pens I bought increased from 15 to 10. Okay. Now, when one thing increases, let's say I denote the pocket money by X and the pens by Y. So we say when x increases, y also increase. Okay? So what I noticed here was that x, x increased, y also increased. But there is one also one other important thing to note that the proportion in which this increase, or rather the ratio of x is to y is equal to how much? Let's say I take situation 1. Right? So, if x was, I guess I've used the wrong color. The ratio of x is to y was 100 under pound 10 is equal to 10. Okay. In the second case, this is 150, this is 15. So again, the ratio was 115 upon 15 is equal to 10. Even in the third case, similarly, if you see, you know, this is 200, this is 20, right? So the ratio again is 200 upon 20 is equal to 10. So in all these cases, the ratio of X and Y remain the same. So when two variables, let's say X and Y increase, in such a manner, in such a manner, that the ratio x upon y is equal, then x and y are said to be in direct proportion. 
So what happens in such a case is that x upon y is equal to let's say a variable k. k is a constant. The value of k always remains the same. It never changes. So when this was 10 here, 10 here and 10 here. Okay. So when x increases, y also increases in such a manner that the ratio x upon y is equal, then x and y are said to be in direct proportion. So we say that x upon y is equal to k, which is a directly proportional case.